And now at six, an exciting time for two local high school seniors. They will receive Ivy League educations thanks to a million dollars in scholarships. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live in the studio with the story. Paris. Jordan, this is a special moment for these two teens and especially for one of them who lost her mom just this past fall. Two best friends at Hampton Charter School of Science in Chicopee worked together since sixth grade through high school, taking several AP courses, maintaining 4.0 GPAs. I mean, Daphne, we've been best friends for a while and like we kind of just like, hey, I heard about this. You applied to this. I don't really have time. Like you like, you know, we kind of just like trade ideas. So it was no surprise to the staff at the school that both these girls were accepted to multiple Ivy League colleges. Samantha Josephs will attend class at Cornell University in the fall and Daphne Muhammad will head to Dartmouth College. Together, these girls earned over a million dollars in scholarships, something they say was possible because of their friendship. Applying to college is a very stressful process. Um, have a support group, like for my, my support group, were my close friends, like Samantha. For Josephs, this was a special accomplishment. She lost her mother just last year, a licensed practical nurse at JGS Life Care, who was found unresponsive at work. Joseph's father says she died of a heart attack. A a story Western Mass News covered back in November. That was the same day like I lost my mom, so I started the college process like all by myself. But she says that's what motivated her to get into these prestigious schools, honoring her mother's legacy. That was kind of like my motivating factor, like, you know, I gotta do this for my mom. She was really big on education, you know, my parents are immigrants. Two best friends working together to achieve their goals. And both students plan to pursue majors in the field of science. Reporting live in the studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.